Hello again, in this tutorial we're going to learn how we can add a new user to our MySQL server. Now, uh, I recorded this video after explaining how to execute the insert statement because we're going to use insert to add a new user. Now, remember that in MySQL server there is a database called MySQL or MySQL as you can see here I'm selecting it and there's inside it, that database there's a table called user so what we need to do is we need to select that that database and then insert into that table a new record for a new user now the process is very straightforward the usual way of connecting to the SQL server which we explained before uh, several times and then uh, just to uh, uh, print out messages for, for um, debugging you know whether it's the connection is successful or not and then select the database successful or not and then in the table called user remember we're selecting MySQL database now and then the table called user we have several columns the most important ones that we want now are column uh, host column user column password and then for privileges or for rights we have the select privilege insert privilege update privilege so we're given this the new user the new user that we are we are going to add we're given him a select privilege so he can select data from tables insert so he can insert data into tables and he can update i.e. modify or edit data which is already existing in tables so the usual insert insert into table and then we give a list of column names comma separated list and then we give values as we learned before and then for host of course we need to give corresponding values so for host we need to say either say localhost or uh, percentage when we say localhost that means this user will only be able to connect from localhost if we want him to connect from anywhere we just say uh, use the wild mark percentage so percentage if we want the user to connect from for example a remote uh, a computer from a computer elsewhere on the network or on the internet now so for the host we say localhost for user let's say for example user mark for password we say for example mark let's let's change the name let's say for example mike rather than mark and then for password let's say mike uh, 9031 as you can see here um, for the use for the password I'm using this MySQL function called password just to encrypt it as we're going to see later when we display the, the details so this will encrypt the password otherwise it will be plain text and then for select privilege, insert privilege, update privilege, I need to say yes, yes, yes in the corresponding column values so we can get those privileges. Now, to add extra privileges, i.e. to give the user everything, you just need to list the re remaining uh, co column names for these columns and then give them all yes. And this is a list of what you can add of all the other columns. Insert, update, delete, create, drop, reload, shut down, the rest of it. Yes, this is you. You want to add this, for example, if you want your user to be an admin or a super user, right? Now, uh, and then we just we just execute the query the normal way, MySQL query, and then if it's successful, we just print out messages messages for debugging. Now, what happens is we need to execute a flush privileges uh, command. Why is that? We need basically to reload the uh, the grant tables so that user becomes active otherwise we won't be able to log in unless if we restart MySQL server again so we just need to execute flush, flush privileges after we add that to the table so we can refresh things and we can use or we can start logging in with that username straight away otherwise we have to restart our MySQL server enough talking let me just uh, make sure everything's okay here save the file and make sure you have your correct user, uh, I'm sorry, your correct root password. Let me just put this out of sight. Provide my own password. I hope I remember it. My own root password. Remember the file is called as your .php, So let me just execute it. I've made it executable before. Add it and it's telling me here connecting successfully. <coughs> Database MySQL has been uh, not deleted. I'm sorry, this should, 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 should say selected. And then user has been successfully created and privileges have been flushed, not beef. Let me just correct these typos. Uh, they shouldn't say deleted, they should say selected. And user has been rather than beef. Where is beef? 
privileges, I'm sorry, yeah, ha privileges have been successfully flushed. Now, user mic with the mic 9031 has been added to the database, and to prove that to you, we can go back to our uh, normal connect, you know, the, if you remember, connect script, and just use mic, and then mic. 9031 save that and then just run the script connect connect and as you can see we have connected successfully or maybe what we can do is we can even use a select statement to select data from my SQL database and from table user in that database so what I'm doing here is I'm uh, I'm just I've just copied and pasted the content of the select.php file which we explained before and now I'm using MySQL database and I'm selecting column host, column user, column password from table user where user the value of user now is let's say Mike rather than Mark so we'll say Mike rather than Mark and then we just look through the columns and display the values of host, user and password as we did before when we learned how to execute the select statement. Enough talking, let's execute that and see what happens. What did I call it again? Select user. Select user. And as you can see, connection successful. Da da da. And then host, local host, username is Mike. And then as you can see here, the password has been encrypted. I hope that makes sense. Remember that you can add these privileges if you want uh, a super user. Or oh, in fact, to add another user, there's another command called create user. You can Google that if you want create user uh, and then you can uh, give the user name and the host name and the password similar way but this is maybe uh, uh, easier if you want to execute it from a script thank you very much for watching again please remember to uh, double check my personal web page uh, which should be in the description of my youtube channel if you go to my youtube youtube channel youtube.com slash dr noradin sadawi all one word, Dr. Nordi Sadawi. There, you should you should be able to find a link to my personal web page. You go to the tutorials tab, or the tutorials page on my own web website, and then you will find a, a zip file with all these scripts. Thank you very very much for watching again, and I'll see you next time.